I'm back. <laughs> Hi everybody, I made it. And we have the topic today, timing. I'm laid back. Incredible. I'm so laid back. But you know what? If you play jazz, that's a good thing. If you are laid back. It's not good if you are too early. <laughs> Never be. Be on time. It's a... It's a sentence from an old bass player, Eric Moserholm from Denmark. He said always in our tour bus, almost 15 years ago, he said, you have to be always on time, be on time. He wrote a book about that. So, hi everybody, my name is Nicole. I'm living in Zurich. I give online lessons. I'm a professional saxophonist. I play this saxophone for about 20 years, I am practicing right now beatbox saxophone technique, like slap technique, like this here. Something like this, and I'm practicing as well right now classical music, jazz, of course. I'm composing a lot in these times, and for especially for corona time, I am... Um, thought about making some little video clips for you people. It's not like a lesson. It's just a 10 minutes, 15 minutes talk about some interesting things you might be interested with your instrument, the saxophone or other instruments. Um, okay, so I'm playing a Selmer saxophone since, as well since 20 years now. And um, I visited a lot of workshops. I was in a masterclass of Dave Liebman in Pennsylvania, Stroudsburg in US. That was like maybe 20 years ago. No, 15 years ago. And um, we worked on topic timing. Timing is very important. Um, like being right on time is always good, right? Yeah. And I show you today some exercises where you can work on your timing very intensively. Um, it's a good exercises and you can do it before you really practicing new songs or if we have like two minutes, just do that. That's a wonderful exercise. So um, take your metronome. This will be your new friend from now on. I will show that now to you. I have a little metronome in my mobile phone. I have, of, of course, the old, the old fashioned tick tock Take one I have I have as well. So we start with tempo 60. There's a 60. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I'm playing just a couple of notes. For the alto saxophone players, I'm playing G, A, B, and backwards. Three, four. 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 As I can hear, it's right on time. To make a good practice about like an exercise about playing late back, what does that mean? It means that literally the metronome is taking you. So you are behind the metronome, behind the beat. And you have the feeling when you play laid back that the metronome is, is pulling you. Yeah, that's the right word. Okay, so I'm playing the same thing, but laid back. And a little bit jazzy. <laughs> Two, three, four. <laughs> I make it extremely, yeah? I play once on time and once laid back, so behind the beat. Two, on time, four. Second time, not again. 
Two times laid back. Okay, I hope you can hear the difference. If I'm singing it, it's on time. Two, three, four. Da 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 da. I make it. Da 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 da. Second time is play back. Two, three, four. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. And I'm feeling that the metronome is pulling me. Yeah. So now I'm playing on the beat and the much more harder one, which. Many people doing by coincidence, they playing over the time, like on top. They are a little bit faster than the beat. And this is a good exercise. There, so there are musicians which are really like confused playing over the time, like on top, on, on top. And then there are people who are more confident with playing on top and going back to the straight on. So timing is a really topic, a big topic in our in our scene and our music scene and it's good to work on it of course you can play freely like when i'm doing now freely it sounds like this that's freely so i'm not, really don't care about the metronome that's a wonderful way of improvising but make this exercise and you feel like after after three months if you're doing it really by every second day or every third day you feel a difference because you are stronger and you're much more together with the metronome why do we need timing we need timing to play with other people when we are alone who cares but if we play with other people we have to make sure we have the same balance somewhere the same floor we are talking about and i think that's um very important so i'm doing now the over top so the first one i'm playing on time and then the next one on top two on four on top not again on top three 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 four I make it extreme. Four. Again. On time. Okay, that was tanner. That was the jazzy version. And now I'm doing more the straight one, classic or rock. Three. On time. On top. I'm way much more faster than actually I should do. So when you are practicing at home, this beat thing, this timing thing, make sure you, you take an easy phrase, like maybe three notes, or make sure you are training it consciousness. Like you are here, you are straight now here, and let. So I make now a overhaul of roll thing, one together, one circle. It would be on time, laid back, on time, on top. That's the way how I am practicing it. Okay, on on time. I'm singing it. Three, four. Da 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 da. Laid back. Da 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 on time. Da 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 on top. Da 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 on time. Da 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 da. It's a good exercise, and I wish you lots of fun with it. And don't do it too much. It's just just a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes that you are aware of where is actually your timing. Okay, so. Like every week, um, it's only a really short session and it's kind of a tutorial, but I prefer to teach personally. Like in Corona time, personally means like I give you a lesson 
and um, I have people who are interested in, 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 in beatbox, in, in the timing, in the tonguing technique, different te uh, technique stuff. And um, I love to meet you over any online media, like Skype, Zoom, whatever you prefer. We can do that and um, hope to see you soon. So please check out my website, www.nicolejohentgen.com. And I have a solo CD. I have as well a New Orleans Groove CD. And um, hope to see you. And definitely stay healthy. And hope to see you live in the future. So like always, I'm playing something for you. And I wish you a nice Tuesday evening. <laughs>